I, uh, I, you know, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about uh, Live Aid. We just came off the, um, the anniversary of it. Yeah, right? the anniversary of it. And I grew up in San Francisco Bay Area and I worshiped Bill Graham. I think he's the reason why I love all different types of music because yep. he, had, he was the man that would put together those incredible shows at the film he saw an uh, act that everybody didn't have faith in he would say nah nah that person needs to write he yeah. was a visionary he was passionate yep because of him he's the only reason why we weren't on live aid. that's what i heard so let's he tell this fought story for us. how he does this happen for us. he fought for us to be on live aid so they're doing this big live aid thing they're having a live aid meeting Everybody in the table, the board meeting, the, the promoters, the investors, and all of that sitting around. Uh, and then somebody mentions, yo, it'll be really cool to have Run DMC on here. People, hell no. Hip hop will be over. Oh, <laughs> Hip hop's yeah. going to die like disco. They, they said, why, why y'all want Run DMC here? They're not even going to be around next year. Bill Graham said, if you don't put Run DMC on the bill, I'm not partic participating. Wow. That's what I heard from somebody in the room. Wow. Wow. So that being said, we get a call. Yo, tomorrow you have to go play live. Hey, we were so, so scared. But it was because of Bill Graham. He said, somebody said, no. He said, don't have the hip hop guys on there. This is for the rock stars. And, and you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Bill Graham said, if you don't put Run DMC on it, I'm not participating. Was, what do you, what wow. do you remember from that day, man? What was that like? That had to be insane to be part of something so massive, even to this day. The scariest thing ever. <laughs> we didn't want to go. Yeah. What are you guys trying to do with us? Because we didn't want to ruin nothing. You know what I'm saying? We was like, what they, what they, huh? What? Do you know who's doing this? Do you know who's on the bill in London? Like you're putting us in that thing. So for us, it was the scariest thing. We didn't even speak about it. I remember, um, I forgot what city we was in the night before. We had to get up early that morning, fly there, do our show, and then fly back to the town and continue the, um, the tour. Yeah. We were on tour. So um, the morning was in the dressing room, waiting to go on. Wow. So when it was time for us to take the stage, we just knew this. Go out there and do what you do. Right. Right. Don't try nothing extra. Go out there and do what you do. And people, you can't hear it on YouTube. When we walk out there, two things happen. If you look at the intro when Jay's calling us out with the turntables, the record keeps jumping. Yeah. So anybody looking at this, y'all probably don't understand hip hop. But let me tell you, it was not a perfect set at all. Because oh. when Jay's calling us out, run, run, it keeps jumping. Because Jay used to use the record to call DMC. To get, he scratched our intros out so the record keeps jumping but the other thing was this once we get up there once the whole band get up there the reception was 70 30. wow no right 70 70 percent was like i know them i heard of them or they might be cool 30 percent you can't hear it on on youtube boo wow. boo loud boos yeah wow. 70 30. Right. So we could have ran off stage. We said, just keep going. We, if you see our performance, I think it's just keep, do what we do, leave. And the beautiful thing about that, when we left, everybody who probably never saw us, yo, that was very good. Like, we, yeah. thought, we, we thought this hip hop thing really sucked, but you guys are really different.